Does your cat have a bad case of dandruff? Dandruff and dry skin problems can leave your cat feeling itchy and uncomfortable, not to mention increasing the spread of dander and shedding in your home. Why does my cat have so much dandruff? Keep your cat happy and healthy with our top cat dandruff solutions. My cat has dandruff, why does my cat have dandruff? As it turns out, cat dry skin dandruff is persistent and can lead to more serious skin problems if you don't find the cause and treat it. Your cat's delicate skin can be affected by a variety of internal and external factors, so no one cat dander treatment will work for all cat dandruff. While a quick wash with the head and shoulders might work for your cat's dandruff, treating your cat's dandruff may require a little more effort. Find out more about what's causing your cat's dandruff, and how to rejuvenate her beautiful skin and coat to its former glory, natural oils, and all. What is cat dandruff? To help you rid your cat of dry, flaky skin problems, we first need to look at what it is. So, what is cat dandruff? We use the term cat dandruff pretty loosely. It can range from mild flaky skin to irritating sores and rashes. More serious cases of cat dandruff are usually caused by seborrhea, which is when the sebaceous glands in their skin that produce protective, natural oils, start to produce way too much. From dandruff on cats' backs near the tail to their tender bellies, feline dandruff and skin problems can pop up almost anywhere. In fact, your cat may even be suffering from a health condition or fungal infection. This can be identified by a greasy or oil appearance to dandruff and skin. Overproduction of these natural oils can interfere with natural shedding, alter the pH balance of their skin, and create an ideal environment for bacteria or fungus to produce. Talk to your vet to diagnose and manage this condition safely. More commonly, what we refer to as dandruff is simply patches of dry skin. Dry skin tends to be itchy, but will not produce the same extreme symptoms as seborrhea if treated properly. Further skin problems can be caused by your cat scratching, licking, or over-grooming the areas to try to soothe their itch and discomfort. Why does my cat have dandruff? There is no one cause of dandruff in cats, so finding the root cause for your cat's flaky skin may require a little bit of trial and error. Cat dandruff is the result of abnormal production of natural skin oils that create an environment suitable for bacteria and fungus to thrive, so rebalancing your cat's skin pH and eliminating bacteria and fungus can help you ditch cat dandruff cure for good. So what is causing your cat's skin to freak out in the first place? Once you identify the cause of your cat's dandruff, then you can treat the issues and prevent cat dandruff from coming back. Here are some of the most common causes of poor skin health in cats. Poor quality diet. Dehydration. Pollutants. Overbathing. Bug bites. Illness or disease. If you suspect your cat has dandruff an ailment or disease that is causing dandruff, then it's important that you speak to your vet about the best cat dandruff treatment. Home remedies can be effective in some cases, but it's always best to seek proper diagnoses and treatment from your vet before you start treating the issue at home. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. How to get rid of cat dandruff To help reduce symptoms and lessen discomfort, there are some things you can do from home to help treat your cat's dandruff, even if they regularly suffer skin infections. Let's look at the 5 most common solutions for ditching cat dandruff treatment. Moisture inside and out. When dealing with any type of dry skin, it's always more effective to treat the skin from the inside out. Cats notoriously drink very little water compared to what they need. In the wild, cats would get most of their moisture from their food. As many domesticated cats eat dry kibble diets, it's common for them to live in a state of mild dehydration for a long time. This lack of moisture can cause your cat's dry skin, limit healthy oil production, and contribute to inflammation that can cause itchiness. Solution You can try encouraging them to drink more by switching from a boring old water dish to a filtered fountain. Check out all the benefits of cat water fountains. If this doesn't work, try to find ways to add more liquid to your cat's diet. Try incorporating wet foods, switch to a raw diet, or add water, bone broth, or goat's milk to your cat's regular meals. Many of these can be fed as a side dish, or even as a treat, too. The texture is important to cats, so you may have to try a few methods until you find which ones your cat appreciates. She may not appreciate the watery texture of bone broth, but a thick pate style wet food may just wet her whistle. Natural and balanced diet. The quality of your cat's food can have a drastic effect on how their bodies are able to digest and use nutrients. 
Poor quality foods, foods cooked at extreme temperatures, and those that use heavily rendered ingredients offer limited nutrition compared to whole, natural, and minimally processed ingredients. High heat cooking methods and ingredients that have been rendered down to pieces of the original food product are often lacking nutrition. These deficiencies can quickly influence skin and coat health. Look for foods that use fresh, real food ingredients. Raw is a great example of a high quality diet that offers highly digestible nutrients to support all the systems in your cat's body. If raw isn't your thing, then look for foods that limit synthetic additives and offer nutrition from nutrient dense ingredients like fresh meats, organs, and produce. Try to avoid carb heavy diets for cats. After all, they are carnivores and are best at getting nutrients from animal protein. Appropriate grooming. Cats are generally meticulous groomers, but you can help by brushing your cat regularly. Brushing helps to remove dead fur and skin. Regular brushing also massages the skin, stimulating blood flow and encouraging appropriate oil production from their sebaceous glands. Bathing is required much less frequently in cats than in dogs. This is partly because dogs often don't mind being a little dirty, but also because cats have more sensitive skin. Over bathing your cat can limit healthy oil production and alter their skin's pH balance. Most cats enjoy being brushed, so it's often a quick and stress-free routine. Try to brush your cat a couple of times per week with a simple slicker brush for best results. Avoid bathing your cat too frequently. Aim for no more than once every six weeks unless it's necessary. If you do need to bathe or spot clean, stick to just warm water and a pinch of baking soda. Many cat shampoos have fragrances and chemicals that can further dry their skin. Environment. Cats are very sensitive to their environments. Skin and coat issues are often exacerbated by chemicals and poor air quality. Things like cigarette smoke, chemical cleaners, air fresheners, and even perfumes can irritate their skin. Humidity is also a factor. Just like our own skin, seasonal changes and extreme climates can upset your cat's sensitive skin. Heaters, furnaces, fireplaces, and hot arid climates all suck moisture from your cat. Avoid using harsh chemicals around your cat and make sure your house is well ventilated. An air purifier is an excellent option for small spaces, especially over winter when our windows stay closed 24-7. If your home is very dry, then look at getting a humidifier to help put some moisture back into your cat's environment. This can help to eliminate cat dandruff and aid in maintaining their body temperature. Pests Fleas and ticks are the most common pests, and the easiest to spot. Talk to your vet to help identify pest activity at the earliest signs. Other pests you should talk to your vet about include lice and mites. It's important to regularly check your cat for signs of infestation. Routine grooming and regular vet checkups can help you catch problems early and treat them quickly. Be preventative when it comes to pests. Some flea and tick treatments can help to deter infestations year-round. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.